Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome yourselves to round 16 of Robbo's Racing League at Phillip Island. Now I will warn you guys, there is a lot of race in this video. Um, there isn't actually much that I've been able to cut out because a lot happens. So yeah, a lot of race coming your way. That's great English. Anyway, qualifying. One race that was on pole, 0.3 ahead of Enjerk in second. But I took uh, my second third row and uh, I was in third. I actually set another PB. I don't know what's going on with my PBs at the moment. I keep setting them in qualifying. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I was exactly half a second behind. I Dylan was in fourth, point six behind. Um, he had a bit of an issue and uh, timed out, but he did manage to rejoin and keep his time. GSXR Mark Twenty Four was fifth. Brandy Scale was sixth. MOW Seven Heskey returning in seventh, and STB Biker eighth. So. There was uh, one name missing from that, Armola99. He had uh, connection issues to begin with, but did manage to join for the race. So here we go, lining up on the grid. Front row start. All those Yamahas, there is one Honda in there. But other than that, it's uh, the Yamaha Race Club. So, Phillip Island. I don't know how I managed to go 0.3 quicker than I did in time trial, but I was really happy with it. So, here we go. Lights go out. And off the line, I got a pretty shocking start because my bike started to turn. So, when you do that and uh, you try to correct it, it will flip you off. Um, so, I had to back out a little bit. But I was still in second at this point, which was uh, really good. Um, really happy. I wish the flag went out now because uh, I went really wide. <laughs> and then uh, and jerk tried to get back underneath. But I uh, managed to get a pretty decent exit. I managed to stay in second for a little bit. He's right on my tail, and then going through the really quick left hand that he went through, and into the Honda hairpin. Goes three Yamahas. And another one right on my tail. Went really wide again, I don't know what was wrong with me on the first lap. Made so many mistakes, going wide all the time. Managed to get back into third ahead of our more line 99. And the front two slowly starting to pull away now as I go really wide again. That's like the third, fourth time I've gone wide in one lap. And then the really horrible corner, which is really easy to crash at. But it's not too bad crashing there when you're doing a race because it's such a slow corner that you don't actually lose much time at all. And then the last quarter, which is a long left hand, uh, and then you've got to pick your exit point and go for it. So full place at the moment by getting the slipstream of Armorland. And then my top gear tops out because uh, I have too much speed from the slipstream. And then I go too close into the kerb on the exit of this corner, which loses me time because I go on the grass and that's not what you want to do. So I lost a bit of time there. Another mistake from me. And we're only on the second lap. 1.1 behind is I Dylan. Remember, Armorland, myself, and I Dylan are all fighting for third place in the championship at the moment. It's really close. So, uh, yeah. Front two fighting amongst themselves. Enjoke went a little bit wide, but managed to cut it back for a good exit. 0.6 ahead is Armorland. Getting into the final sector. I appear to have closed up a little bit. dangerous downhill corner which is what it should be renamed as the dangerous downhill corner right on our Moorlands tail now the front two pulled away a bit more and try to get a good exit again at the final corner and try to get in our Moorlands slipstream again bearing in mind that my uh, Top gear is going to top out. And into first corner again. So he's point two ahead at this point. We're definitely close him in big time. I'm trying not to make the same mistake I did in the last lap on this corner. Which I don't, which is good. Oh, Dylan's still one second behind. Closing up again on Honda Hairpin. Of 
crashed a bit further back for GSXR Mat 24. And it's basically half a second from myself up to Armorland now. And an overtake from MO007 Husky on GSXR Mat 24. We just had that crash. And then a crash for Armorland just ahead of me. At that horrible downhill corner. And you may have seen an arrow right behind me. That is I, Dylan, who's caught me up. The front two are away. Now, it was looking like it was going to be a battle to the end for the three riders fighting for third in the championship. The 2.7 up to end jack, that's pretty much irrelevant now. But I did go into the first corner in the wrong gear, which meant I went into first gear by accident. Sent me wide. And I, Dylan, tried to fight. So he's right on my tail now because of that mistake from me. And then get into Honda Hairpin. Tries to overtake again. Try to fight with him. And this corner I keep nice and tight, try to get a good exit, rear sliding a bit, good exit out there which meant I could retake third place and he comes up underneath me, I cut back but go a little bit wide so he cuts back again and into the horrible corner. Final corner, try to get underneath him. He cuts back. And then we were basically in each other's slipstreams. And into the first corner again. In the correct gear this time. Which is always a good thing to do. get the best exit at this corner. They slowly got a little bit of a gap. Front two aren't that far ahead at the moment. You could just see and jerk in the distance. Obviously it seems a lot closer on the slow corners because they have to slow down obviously as well. Brandy Skills and MO007 Husky having a bit of a battle further back. Our Moorland is 1.1 behind now, um, so he's closing up. And I, Dylan, is slowly but surely getting away. I have a massive moment at the horrible corner, which puts me really wide, which loses me a load of time. And finish lap five. And then on lap seven, our Moorland has caught me up and passes me. But I wasn't going to give it up without a fight as I repass him. And I, Dylan, who I thought was getting away, we are both catching again. Unfortunately, GSX on that is uh, Xbox Froze. So, uh, unfortunately, he had to uh, drop out. So, could me and our Moorland catch I, Dylan, who has fallen into our clutches, but with only a few laps remaining, and this corner really doing my head in. corner using a slipstream again or trying to anyway we're going to go over to one racer's best lap of his race the fastest lap of his race on lap 8 come back to my battle in a minute very smooth 1.6 ahead of Enjerk at this point. 
So not really a massive gap, but still a gap nonetheless. This corner is a bit dodgy as well because if you're going a bit too quick your rear goes and uh, you can be side saddling quite easily, which is a pain in the ass. Coming up to the horrible downhill corner. Crash for us, DB Biker, a bit further back. And just one more corner to go. It's a really quick lap around here. Mon Racer, he was going the quickest because he had just put in a 124.166. Anyway, back at the action. And me and our Morlan was still battling. He goes a little bit wide, so I managed to get back underneath him. My Dylan was just there. Could we catch him? It was looking like possibly we could. Or would it be a little bit too much? It's only 0.8 now. Finally, I take that corner really nicely. To Honda hairpin. And then you can see visibly we have caught and catching. It's 0.7 now, so it's gone down a tenth. Really wide from me there, which meant that our Morland could come up underneath the downhill one early on the brakes because I didn't want to have a massive bobble like I did the previous time and then a horrible exit for me at the second to last corner and not the best at exits at the last corner try to get into Armorland slipstream again did a little bit wide again in the first corner and Morlan was catching I Dylan the three riders fighting for third in the championship all together on track this is how you want it to be really wide from our Morlan there into the Honda hairpin We are, of course, on the penultimate lap as well. So if we were going to catch like Dylan, we had to do it soon. Here we go, downhill. Try not to go too wide. I Dylan went a little bit wide. It looked like they were going to start getting away. Which is not what I wanted. The gap was almost a second up to our Mauler now. He was right with I Dylan. A few mistakes from me, but they were just a little bit ahead now. We are on the final lap now. And what I was hoping for is a mistake from them too going into that horrible down, downhill corner. 0.7, so I caught up a couple temps in the first sector. A little bit wide in Honda's hairpin. Trying to keep it together. Point 0.6. I was hoping for some sort of mistake into the corner we're about to come up to. Those two are right together. I was hoping they're going to outbreak themselves or crash or something. And both of them go really wide. But not wide enough for me to be able to capitalise on their mistake. It's 
going to be a drag to the finish for these two. Really, really close. And of course the Xbox throws, well, the game throws over the line. But it was one racer who took the win, 1.5 ahead of Enjerk in second. Armola 99 just managed to get third place by less than three hundredths of a second ahead of Idyllon. And I was a further 1.2 behind Idyllon in fifth place. Sixth place, we had MLW7 Heskey. Uh, he had a good battle with Brandy Scales, who came home in seventh. SDB Biker was eighth. And GSXR Matt gets ninth with his unfortunate um, Xbox crashing incident. So, what's that done to the championship? Well, one race extends his his lead at the top of the championship with 311 points. He's 39 points ahead of Enjerk in second, who has 272. Idyllin is still in third with 199, but one point behind him now is Armorland 99 in fourth place with 198. I'm 15 points behind Armorland 99 in fifth place with 183. So third place is still all to play for for all three of us. Pistol not being able to race again, he's in sixth with 145. STB Biker is only three points ahead of ML007 Heskey now with 116. Emma. ML007 Heskey in 8th with 113. CA Specialised in 9th with 84. Brandy Scales in 10th with 72. Magic Milk in 11th with 49. And Moreland 97 in 12th with 42. Closely behind um, Moreland 97 is GSXR Matt in 13th with 41 points. So just one point behind Moreland 97. Uh, Surfing Kid 18 is in 14th with 37 points. My Sweaty Gibbons 15th with 32. Lukey B67 in 16th with 22 points. Colonel Carlos 17th with 20 points. Dobby Dazzler 18th with 11 points. Toynho in 19th with 7 points. Dubman of 1989 in 20th with 7 points. And Samurai 41 in 21st with 4 points. So, the championship is definitely hotting up. Um, one racer could potentially win the uh, championship at the next race. But uh, if Enjok races, you, he's bound to either get first or second. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it could go down to the last race in Valencia, but um, who knows? We'll have to wait. But the next race, guys, won't be until next year now. Obviously, we've got Christmas coming up and New Year's. So the next race won't be until Friday the 8th of January 2016, and that will be at Sepang. And if the championship's anything to go by, it's going to be a cracking last two races. Don't forget to subscribe to watch those races. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you.